Hey guys, so this is going to be my no makeup makeup look. This is something that I like to do when I only have 5 minutes in the morning to do my makeup or if I want to go out looking natural but with my skin that looks better and more enhanced. So here I'm starting off with a bare face. I'm using MAC's Face and Body in C3 and I just got this foundation and I really really love it. It's super thin and really liquidy as you can see here and that provides you a really sheer coverage but it also allows you to like cover your red spots and blemishes if you have them. I found that the best way to apply this is with your fingers so you really get to warm up the product and it goes on really naturally and then I just apply one section of my face at a time. I also don't like using a concealer when I'm doing my makeup like this because it takes up extra time and it looks less natural. So here what I'm doing is I'm patting the foundation in in layers so that way it helps cover any of the darkness I have around my eyes. And here you can really see the difference between the two eyes. I also like to take this foundation on any red spots that I have and pat in as well. So I'm going to use mostly cream products today. This is my Chanel Cream Bronzer, which I really like for adding color to the face. And the same as before, if you apply it with your fingers, it goes on very natural, very smooth. So that's what I'm doing here, just to add some color back to the face and not really contouring or bronzing. I'm also going to add it here in the crease of my eyes just to add a natural shadow since I'm not really doing too much to the eyes today. And then I'm going to use this really weird sweeping motion. I know I look weird, but it helps make the eyes look bigger and like it's more cat eye shaped rather than round. At least I hope that's what it's doing. I don't know. You guys be the judge and tell me. Let me know if it worked. Now here you can set with any powder you want. I'm just using this Ben Nye Banana Powder to mattify underneath my eyes and on my T-zone. If you want to keep this look really dewy, don't set your face or set it with like an HD powder or something to give it some light and shine. Um, I like to use Max Emphasize if you don't want a completely matte look, but I'm just mattifying the places that tend to get oily and the rest of my face will still stay nice and dewy. Here I'm using Dip Brow in Dark Brown and as you can see I'm barely touching the tip of my brush into the product. That way it makes a more natural brow when we apply. So with your angled brush, hold it at the very end so that way you create light brush strokes and you also want to try to feather it in to mimic real hair. So keep using short hair-like strokes to achieve your perfect brow. To be honest, I don't really like using this brow pomade for a natural look because it's super hard to get it really light. So I end up blending it away and then adding more and then blending it away so it just takes practice. You could also use um, powders or pencils that might help you if you guys don't like this and have the same problem as I do. If you want, you can take a light powder bronzer like this one and I'm going to use that to set all the cream that I put down earlier. And if you're lazy like me, you could just use one big fluffy brush to put all over your face, including inside of the eye socket, uh, which I'm doing right here. To make sure that I curl my eyelashes whenever I do a natural look because it helps make my eyes look a lot bigger. And before I apply any mascara, I'm going to line my waterline and line a very thin line at the very top of my lashes. This will help my lashes look full but still natural. I just realized, I don't know why I kept this clip, all I'm doing is blinking, but hey, it's in there, it's makeup, deal with it. You can also use a peach toned eyeliner to make your eyes look much wider and much more awake.
Here I'm adding a cream highlighter to the high points of my cheek and also on the inner corner of my eye to make it bigger and wider and more awake like I've been doing this entire video. And yeah, but it works great and I love it and you guys should try it too. And then for mascara, I try to focus all of the product on the base of my lashes and not really bring them up to the tip of the lash. I also avoid putting it on the lower lashes because it looks more natural that way, but you can put it on the lower lashes if you want. Here I'm taking a lip liner that matches my natural lip color. Then I like to blend it with my finger and then add a really sheer natural kind of lipstick or lip stain. This is the NARS one that you get in the uh, Sephora birthday pack. So yeah, I figured I'd try it out and it worked out really well. And here is a super awkward slow-mo before and after of what it looks like. As you can see, the skin looks much more even, but hopefully I achieved something where I don't look like I'm wearing so much makeup. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!